Hello and welcome to edupediaworld.com. In this session, we'll be studying about cardinal and ordinal concepts of utility. In the last session, as we have already discussed that what is theory of demand, that is what demand exactly is, and we have already discussed about the law of diminishing marginal utility. Continuing upon the theory of demand, today in this session, we'll be studying about cardinal and ordinal concepts of utility. First one, we'll be studying about cardinal utility. As we have uh, already studied what utility is, we have studied the concepts of total utility and marginal utility. Let me first revise that what exactly utility is. Utility is basically a psychological phenomena that is it is a feeling of satisfaction, pleasure or happiness which a consumer uh, ex which a consumer derives from using a particular product. Uh, however, measurability of utility has been a very difficult issue. The traditional, the classical economists, uh, for example, Alfred Marshall, he has given the concept that utility is cardinally or quantitatively measurable, like height, weight, length, temperature and air pressure. This belief resulted in cardinal utility concept. According to this concept, utils meaning units of utility is used to measure utility that is the amount of satisfaction which is derived from a product. One util here is considered equal to one unit of money and utility of money is constant means if I have one unit of money that is one rupee, the utility of one rupee will be one util. If I have 2 rupee, the utility of 2 rupee will be 2 utils. Likewise, utility of money is considered as constant. Now we'll be studying that how consumer behavior is analyzed under cardinal utility approach. Basically, the central theme of the consumption theory is the utility maximizing behavior of the consumer. That is, every consumer chooses that product first which gives him maximum utility and then he proceeds on. Now, let's see that what are the assumptions of the cardinal utility approach. First one is rationality. Rationality means a consumer has right thinking power. That is, a consumer buys that commodity first which yields highest utility and the last which gives the least utility to the consumer. Then he has limited resources with him that is he has limited money income. Consumer has limited money income to spend on the goods and services he or she consumes. That is why the role of choice comes here. Next is that consumer wants to satisfy himself he wants to uh, go for the maximum satisfaction from the units of money he has spent to get a commodity every rational consumer intends to maximize his or her satisfaction from his or her given money income next assumption is that utility is cardinally measurable the cardinalists have assumed that utility is cardinally measurable and that utility of one unit of a commodity equals the unit of money which a consumer is prepared to pay for it and that one util equals to one unit of money. Next assumption is that the law of diminishing marginal utility will apply. As we have already studied the law, it is assumed that utility gain from the successive units of a commodity decreases as a person consumes them. Next assumption is that constant the utility of money is always constant the marginal utility of money is always constant which means that it is assumed that marginal utility of money remains constant whatever the level of consumers income is say for example rupee 1 
is equals to one util rupee two is equals to two util so total utility from two rupee is equals to two util and total utility from one rupee is equals to one util then when we have to find out the total marginal utility of money it will be equal to total utility from two rupee minus total rupee utility from one rupee which will be equal to one thus whatever is the level of income of the consumer marginal utility of money will always be one which is constant next assumption is that utility is additive which means that utility derived from various goods and services consumed by a consumer can be added together to obtain the total utility suppose that a consumer consumes x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 up to x n units of commodity x and the utility derived from the consumption of uh, the units of commodity x is u1 u2 u3 u4 u5 up to un this is the utility thus in order to derive uh, the total utility from the use of commodity x it will be equal to utility from n number of units consumed of commodity x will be equal to u1 into x1 plus u2 into x2 plus u3 into x3 plus u4 into x4 up to un into xn thus under this assumption we can find out the total utility from consumption of commodity x by multiplying the utility derived from one, one unit of commodity x and adding the total utility together to get the total utility and adding the individual utility to get the total utility in order to explain that how a consumer reaches his equilibrium we'll first begin with the simplest case of a consumer consuming only one commodity the analysis will then be extended to explain equilibrium of a consumer consuming several goods so we start with consumers equilibrium one commodity model under this model it is assumed that a consumer spends on a particular commodity up till then when the value derived the satisfaction derived from that commodity is more than the money income is spent on it suppose say for example if in today's scenario someone offers me uh nokia 2626 for rupees 10000 i will not go for this particular phone because there are various options uh, of better smartphones available in the market right now and which is uh, less than this particular cost paid for it so i won't go for this particular thing because i know that the value the satisfaction derived from using this particular commodity will be less than the price paid for it similarly suppose a consumer consumes just one commodity that is x since both his money income and commodity x have utility for him he can either spend his money income on commodity x or retain in the form of asset if the marginal utility of commodity x which will be represented by mux is greater than the marginal utility of money which is represented by mum a utility maximizing consumer will exchange his money income for the commodity since the marginal utility of money that is mum is considered to be constant it is always constant that is equals to 
Thus, we also take into consideration the price of commodity X, that is PX. PX is the price of commodity X. Therefore, the consumer will spend his money income on commodity X till MUX, that is marginal utility from commodity X, is greater than price of X into marginal utility of money. As marginal utility of money is constant, thus MUX should be greater than PX till this particular point of uh, point the consumer will become uh, using the utilizing the commodity X. This means that a person will be will keep on spending on a commodity till the utility till the satisfaction derived from that commodity is more than the price paid for it. And the consumer will be deriving maximum utility at a point where marginal utility from commodity X is equal to price of commodity X into marginal utility of money. He will be consuming the commodity till this particular point. Alternatively, we can say that as marginal utility of money is equal to 1. So if we take this particular thing, this side, so we can say that marginal utility of commodity X as per unit consumption of money that is divided by my price of X into marginal utility of money is constant is equal to 1. We can denote this graphically as well. Suppose this is the X axis and this is the y axis. On x axis we take quantity of the commodity used. In our example it's commodity x and on the y axis we take the marginal utility and price of x. As we have studied that we consider the marginal utility of money to be constant and the price of commodity X will always be constant. So, this is the, this particular line shows the marginal utility of money into price of X. See, to prove this I can show you, suppose we buy 1 unit of X for rupees 20. When we consume second unit of X, when we buy second unit of X, the total money spent will be rupees 40. Thus the marginal money, the, the price of X, that the marginal money of X, marginal utility of X, will be 1 into price of x which is always 20 in every case because marginal utility of money is constant and the price of commodity x is 20 so it will be always constant we have to take because we are multiplying marginal utility of money with the price so it will be constant in every given case thus this forms a constant line, marginal utility of money into price of X. And as we already know from the law of diminishing marginal utility that the marginal utility of commodity X 
from consuming commodity X will decline. This is the marginal utility curve of commodity X. Thus, where this particular curve, that is the marginal utility curve, cuts the marginal utility of money into price curve, we get the equilibrium point. This is the equilibrium point. Suppose this quantity, we name it as Qx. Thus, this particular, up till this particular point, from O to Qx, Till the consumer con uh, continues to consume from O to Qx quantity, he will derive more satisfaction compared to the money income spent on the commodity. After this particular point, that is after O Qx, if he consumes more commodity, more units of commodity X, his satisfaction level will go down. That is the utility derived from consuming commodity X will go down because now he will start feeling that the value which he is getting that the satisfaction which he is getting from utilizing commodity X is less than the price he is paying for it. Similarly OP is the equilibrium price till this particular price the consumer will derive maximum satisfaction. Thus we can say that OP is equilibrium price and OQ is equilibrium quantity. This is how consumer reaches his equilibrium point, the level of maximum satisfaction in a one commodity model means where he consumes just one commodity. Thus he reaches maximum satisfaction at a point where marginal utility from commodity X is equal to marginal utility of money into price of commodity X. So this was consumers equilibrium one commodity model. In the next session we'll be studying about consumer equilibrium multi commodity model because a consumer does not only spends on one commodity he allocates his money income on different varieties of products. So in the next session we will be studying that how consumer reaches his equilibrium point while spending on different variety of products. Thank you.